If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to dive deep into how you can get started with my new Docker extension for Jmeter. So this extension will help you to run your Jmeter load tests without installing Jmeter. So this will be very helpful for DevOps folks, developers and also performance engineers. So this repo is public. You can report any issues and also you can contribute. I have written extensive article about how you can get started with this extension. So if you go through this particular blog article, you can get to know about a lot of information. But this video, I will going to give a hands on demo, how you can install, how you can manage, how you can uninstall, how it will be useful in your day to day workflows. The only prerequisite is to have your Docker installed the latest version. Now let us go to my Docker desktop here. So this is my latest version as of today. And if you go to the extensions tab in the left side of the menu, you will see there are a couple of extensions have already installed. If you are not seeing this particular menu, just go to settings and go to extensions and check this box, enable Docker extensions. So this will help you to enable the Docker extensions. So before we see about the Jmeter extension, first let us understand about what is Docker extension. So Docker extension helps you to extend the functionality of Docker so that you can add your own features and you can leverage the Docker environment. So right now, as you see, there are a lot of extensions uh, daily. It's getting published to the marketplace. So there are free versions. There are Docker developed extensions and also there are something behind paywall so where you have to sign up for an account and then you can use the extension within the docker desktop so right now my extension is already approved but it does not hit the marketplace but there are ways you can install the jmeter extension now let us go to the blog article and here i can show you how you can get started with the installation first so there are two ways you can install so one is using this command line. So Docker extension install and you can use my QA insights slash and the Docker extension name colon and the version. So this will install the Docker extension once you press the Y button here. Or you can directly access the extension by clicking on this button. So if you just click on this install Jmeter Docker extension, it will prompt you to open the Docker. And if you hit open Docker, you will get this screen. So here, as you see, it is displaying the extension name, Jmeter and description and the button to install. And if you just scroll down, you can see the screenshots and the features and other resources. And if you go to change log, you can also see the change log. So this extension is brand new. Yesterday only I got published and I have tested it extensively. Happy part scenario, definitely it will work. But in case if you face any issues, please raise an issue in the GitHub repository. Now to install, just click on the install anyway button here. So this will download the extension from the Docker Hub and then it will just install. Now let us click on open button to launch the Jmeter extension within the Docker desktop. So this is my Docker desktop. As you see, it is very simple UI and not a lot of uh, fields not overwhelming it is just whatever is required really required to run a load test in jmeter i have just configured it now let us go one by one so what fields you have to focus and how to execute and how to get the html report and also how to monitor the execution the very first step is to feed the base image so here the base image is qa insights slash jmeter so only if the image is QA insights slash Jmeter, this extension will work without any issues. But doesn't mean that other images will not work. The image which has the entry point has Jmeter will work in this extension. If the entry point is different in your Jmeter image, then this extension might not work. You can also build your image locally and feed that image. Then also it will work. Make sure jmeter is the entry point so once you configure the image next is you need to map the volume 
so volume needs another dedicated video so basically what you are doing it here you are mapping your host volume to the container volume so that the volume is being shared between two components so that you can transfer in and transfer out your artifacts so this is about volume so this is where you keep all your test plan properties file and then uh, you can also see your logs uh, results and other dependencies you can keep in this volume next is test plan so what test plan you are planning to execute so here you need to configure so make sure here you need to configure the container volume not the host volume the path must be the container path so that's why i have given the example jmeter hyphen tests slash example dot jmx next is property files so all your runtime arguments you can put it in the properties file then you can map those variable names in your jmeter so i have already posted multiple videos how you can do that please check it out my previous uh, videos to understand how the property files work in jmeter next is logs and results so where do you want to store your logs and results so for every test this particular extension will generate the html report so those html report will be stored in your local path and also it will be available in the container volume as well so those are the path you need to configure here so if you are not configuring then it will not run because it's mandatory so these fields are mandatory so whenever you see the asterisk it is a mandatory fields so once these are configured next is uh, proxy so these are optional basically in case if you are in a corporate network you want to reach your application via some proxy then you can enter your proxy host proxy port number and if it requires the credentials you can enter your username and password so the password will be sent as a plain text please make a note so once all the fields are configured then it's time to hit the run jmeter test so now let me just go to my terminal and then let me showcase my uh, jmeter scripts and how i'm structuring my properties file a csv file and other artifacts so right now i am in this folder so this particular uh, folder jmeter scripts has two directories one is emoji boto and online boutique so we are going to execute online boutique so now let me go to online boutique and here if you see there are three artifacts so one is uh, online boutique dot jmx and which has the load test dot properties and also it is using the products dot uh, csv so now let me just get the load test dot properties so here as you see i have a protocol and then url uh, threads and duration so in case we want to run with uh, multiple threads uh, or if you want to change the duration uh, you can change uh, in this properties file and next i'm going to get the you know products.csv so this has some test data random test data so online boutique is a, a sample e-commerce application where you can place an order using the product ids so the script will do some random uh, items to the cart and then it will just check out now let me open the uh, jmx file just to you know understand the uh, jmeter test plan so that it will be very helpful once we done with our execution so this is our uh, jmeter uh, test plan as you see here uh, we have uh, uh, t00 home uh, which will hit the online boutique dot dev and then it will uh, add the uh, it will go to the product page it will add to the cart with some uh, random uh, quantities and then it will place the order uh, that's it so very simple uh, script and all the configurations has been stored in the test plan uh, user defined variables and also csv data set config also has the products.csv in the current directory so now let me run this particular script so this will execute for one thread as you see everything is passed so this is what our uh, jmeter docker extension will perform uh, once we feed these values into the docker container now let me close this and head to docker desktop so the base image is qn sites slash jmeter so this image is my image which is very uh, lightweight and secured so please uh, check my previous blog post about this particular uh, qn sites slash jmeter image now i'm going to map this particular volume so i'm going to clear my screen and uh, enter pwd print working directory i'm going to copy this particular 
path and I'm going to paste it here. So this is my local directory. So I'm going to map this using colon syntax and I'm going to use jmeter hyphen tests. So this is the container volume. So this will be created once the container is up. Next, we are going to mention the, the JMX file name. So JMX file name is online boutique.jmx. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So this particular file resides in my jmeter hyphen tests folder, which is in the container volume. So please make sure you are always mentioning the container volume for the test plan. So once volume is mapped, rest everything your container volume. So similarly, I'm going to uh, map the load test dot uh, properties. So I'm going to copy this load test dot properties and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, next we are going to configure the uh, logs and results where you want to store your logs and results. So again, you need to mention the uh, container volume here. So I'm going to copy this particular path and similarly for the results dot JTL again, I'm going to use the same path, a uh, JMeter iPhone tests. And I'm not going to pass any proxy or any credentials. So now I am good to go. Next, uh, before you start the test, open the notifications panel. So just uh, click on the bottom right corner here. Let me clear the notifications here and hit run. So as you see here, once you click on run, what will happen under the hood is it will map the volume and then it will uh, start the uh, jmeter tests inside the docker container and then it will start streaming the results in the console logs so here if you just monitor uh, you can see your uh, summary for every now and then you will get the details and also the notifications will display some uh, interesting uh, updates of your test so now let us wait for one minute because that's the duration of our test and uh, let us see how we can open the html report generated by the jmeter so now the execution is completed as you see here uh, execution has been completed and also end of run and here test has completed the generated report can be found at if you just click here you can see the path so now let us go to our terminal and uh, hit ls and here as you see there are two artifacts one is jmeter iphone reports and also uh, there is a jtl and also there is a run.log so now let us go to uh, jmeter uh, hyphen reports and here you can see index.html now let us open the index.html so this is the html report which got generated by our uh, tests and if you just expand the charts you can go through all the charts and custom graphs and, and you can also just scroll down to analyze your test results further so now if you just go to docker desktop and you can just click as much times you want so basically it will just keep uh, creating the containers it will uh, start executing the tests and it will put each results uh, separately with some unique uh, file names and folder so this is how you can leverage this particular docker desktop uh, without installing you know jmeter locally so this will be very helpful for uh, development folks devops sres and also performance engineers so for performance engineers the use case which i am using right now is so what I do, I open my jmeter test plan and I would like to optimize my test plan. So how do I optimize? Because I want to try with various parameters and uh, various uh, variables or configurations. So what I do usually, I just uh, change something in my uh, properties file or I can uh, change something in think time, write some groovy snippet and I would like to see uh, what's going on in real to load test. So every time I need to go to my command line and then I go and need to enter the full command, execute, analyze, repeat the steps. So using this Docker desktop, what I can do, I can just configure one time, that's it. Now I can keep clicking the run button and then uh, immediately I change something here you know, instead of say five seconds ramp up, I just say 10 seconds ramp up and save it. Now I'm hit run again. Again, I'll monitor here. So the context switch between uh, JMeter tests and desktop will help me to optimize my JMeter test plan pretty quickly. Otherwise, I need to do some manual effort. Of course, there are other ways you can do, but here you will be able to uh, optimize baseline the container 
configuration as well. So that also will be very helpful uh, using this particular extension. So surprisingly, no one has developed. So this is the first JMeter extension in a Docker extensions marketplace. So please check it out. And if you have any sort of requirements, please let me know. If you find any defects, please let me know. I'll be happy to fix it and I'll be happy to help you out. So now the before we leave, I'd like to inform about how you can uninstall the plugins or extension. So just go to uh, extensions uh, menu and click on uh, manage and again click on this uh, uh, menu button and click on uninstall. So this will immediately uninstall your Gmeter extension. And also you can do this in the uh, CLI also Docker extension uninstall. Or you can also uninstall uh, from your terminal in case you want to automate using some bash script uh, that will be very helpful that's it guys on my side if you have any questions please take me in the comments i hope you will use this extension extensively and thanks for watching have a great day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel